delivery of firewood in Oppenheimer Park, where the homeless camp is growing. Well, the numbers have actually been increasing in the last little while. So at the end of uh, August, when a lot of people uh, were moved into housing, the number was down to about 85, and now it's back up to 107 tents, which is not uh, the number of people. The number of people that is actually higher than that. It's too cold. It's too cold. And for Jacob Stewart and others here, it's only going to get colder and wetter. Stewart's been living in this tent for four months now. The people in this park are my family, you know. Everybody here is pretty much my family, you know, and, and I, I care about them. Obviously, there is nowhere for people to go. Uh, the housing that was offered in August ha is gone. There are no other uh, vacancies. There are many, many people on the waiting list. There are people who've been waiting for years. And although the homeless problem exists beyond this park's borders, those living here remain at the center of a seemingly never-ending political and community debate. I'm hopeful that if we can collaborate, not only with the residents here, but also with the folks that are in, you know, positions of power in the institutions that govern this city, we can try to figure out a way to get people in much safer and warmer conditions uh, sooner than later. The jurisdiction's clear. This is park board jurisdiction, and they've decided uh, not to go forward with, uh, you know, we haven't seen a, really a plan from them. So what I'm continuing to do is to work with the provincial and federal governments to try to get housing which is Jacob Stewart's goal as well. I want to get housing. <laughs> you know, I, I applied for housing already. For, yeah. And what have they said? Oh, I didn't say much. Just waiting, waiting now.